Hi, it's Mr. Rico again, and it's time for writing, and we're up to our series of events. So let's have a look at our learning intention for today. Series of events, and our success criteria, I can use first, then, next, and finally. Remember those words from the end of last term. Um, also to be successful, I can write my series of events in order. Okay, so I'm going to go and just have a quick look back at my writer's notebook. My writer's notebook that we did on, that we, that we, I wrote this on Monday. So, and I'm looking at my ideas now. We've done our orientation. The next part is our series of events. So this, I'm going to use this information here. And I've actually already put it into first, then next, and finally from on here. So that's going to help me a lot for when I go back to my draft now. Um, or if you don't, if you haven't, if you didn't write it there, I could have just sort of put it on here as well. So, you know, keep the football was the first thing that, first thing that I did. Um, then played cards was second thing that I did because it needs to be in order when we write our series of events. Um, and then I got my hair coloured. So colour my hair was number three. And then set up my classroom was number four. Okay, so I'm going to, let's head it back over to the whiteboard now. I'm going to show you how I start writing my series of events. I'll bring it a little bit closer. Okay, so I've got my orientation there. And then I'm going to start with firstly. So the very first thing that I did was I kicked the football. So I'm going to write that that down next into a sentence. So first, or it could be doesn't have to be first. It can be first. First, I kicked the football. in the court with my dad okay now I could I could stop there and go straight to then which would be the next the next thing that I did or I could extend my sentences and I could write something else about that, about me kicking the football. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next one now, and then I might come back even you know even when we do revising and editing it when we're up to that section, I could still come back and add some more. Okay, but you might think of some more straight away that you can write about that topic. The next thing, what was the next thing that I did? Hmm, I forgot it. I'm gonna go have a look at my writer's notebook. That's what it's there for. All our ideas are in here. The next thing I did, so so which is then, I played cards with mum. Then I played cards with mum. Again, I could leave it like that, but I've actually thought of something else that I want to say about that one. So I'll play cards with mum. We we played a game called Rummy. This is the name of a game. I'm going to give it a capital R. And called Rummy, and I even thought of something else that I could take. Because remember, a, a recount is where we are trying to tell our readers what has happened. So the more information, the better, and it helps the reader really know what's going on. Damn, okay, Rummy, I won. I won. Okay, and, and at this stage now, I leave us. I leave another space, and I'll start doing next. 
And the next thing I did was color my hair. So I'll write next. My mum colored my hair because she's a hairdresser. And I'll, and I'll continue, continue writing. And after that one would be finally, what was the last thing that I did? Finally, I set up my, my learning classroom. I teach in learning classroom. Okay. If you can expand on expand on those, that's good. But it's important to keep what you're talking about in the same in the same little paragraphs. So I'm not going to write anything about my card game in the paragraph where I was talking about kicking the football. Everything everything up here. So the next sentence is going to be about kicking the football with dad. And in this one, if I was to write more sentences, it would be about the card game. Okay, so I might write the next one here. I can start, I'll start by writing this one. Next. So next, I got my hair coloured. And my next sentence could be, my mum is a hairdresser and she coloured my hair a lighter brown. Okay, so it's over to you now. A series of events. I want you to do what what I've done now, but of course with your own. Okay, and please make sure that they are in order of what, what you've done. Okay, and then tomorrow we'll look at the next stage, which would be the the ending to our recounts, and then we can start looking at editing and revising. So. Series of events is what we're up to. Happy writing, everybody. Bye-bye.